As if Israelis weren't excited enough about Israeli actress Gal Gadot becoming the world's new Wonder Woman, she's back again with even better news. That's right, our Israeli superwoman will officially be hosting Saturday Night Live next month. Gadot will be starring in the 43rd season of SNL, which starts on September 30th. Make sure to mark down October 7th in your calendar, because that's when the Israeli actress will be taking center stage on the show. This will be the first time she's hosted the late night program, and her episode will even be featuring the British singer Sam Smith as its musical guest. We can't wait. In case you've been living under a rock, Gadot was selected to host Saturday Night Live after she starred as Wonder Woman in the box office hit this summer. She's already signed up to star in a sequel, and if you just can't wait until that comes out, make sure to catch Justice League, which will be hitting theaters in November. Gadot will be starring as Wonder Woman yet again. Here's some unlikely news coming from the Arab Gulf. The Kingdom of Bahrain has now publicly announced that they're possibly going to normalize ties with Israel as early as next year. ILTV's Aaron Porras has the story. Though nobody expects a diplomatic mission to be set up in Bahrain anytime soon, ministers of trade and economic affairs will likely begin high-level talks. Though Bahrain, a majority Shiite Muslim country, has long supported anti-Israel ideologies, apparently mosques in the kingdom have already been instructed to stop anti-Israel rhetoric immediately. An unnamed official speaking with the Middle East Eye news agency said that Bahrain has started to understand the common enemy is Iran and is willing to work towards peace with Israel to fight Iran off. The official further explained that, quote, Israel does not threaten our security or conspire on us, but Iran certainly does, end quote. In fact, Bahrain is terrified of what Iran might do as hostilities rise. Iran has been long accused of setting up and supporting terror cells in the Gulf nation, and this is just the latest example of a slowly strengthening relationship between Bahrain and Israel. Israel was invited to a FIFA meeting in Bahrain earlier this year, and according to Israel's foreign ministry, the Bahraini king Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa has already denounced the Arab boycott against Israel and has even confirmed that Bahraini citizens are now free to visit Israel. A senior Russian official will be arriving to Israel in mid-October following several high-profile political meetings between Russia and Israel. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu will be making a historic and rare visit to the Holy Land this upcoming October, marking his first trip to Israel since becoming Defense Minister in 2012. The visit comes after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met Russian President Vladimir Putin last month in the Russian resort city of Sochi. The Israeli leader, as per usual, stressed to Putin that Israel is concerned with Iran's involvement in the Syrian civil war and, quote, increasing efforts to establish its military foothold in Syria. During his visit, Shoigu will be meeting with his Israeli counterpart, Avigdor Lieberman. The two will, of course, focus on military coordination in Syria. The Russian government has openly backed Syrian President Bashar al-Assad during the country's six-year civil war by providing troops and a political backbone. While it's true that Israel and Russia maintain very strong relations, the two have quietly clashed over Iran. Russia continues to insist that Iran is key to resolving the crisis in Syria, while Israel warns that Iran's involvement in Syria is a major security threat to the Jewish state. Israeli security officials have asked Russia to make sure Iranian-backed Shiite forces stay 60 kilometers away from Israel's border. But according to reports, Russia has denied this request. Israeli officials hope to receive more clarity from Shoigu and his entourage during the upcoming visit.